Duell ist er, die Nummer 30 der Welt aus Wales. Herzlich willkommen, The Spider, Mark Webster. Der Weltmeister von 2008 gegen den von 1996. Er holte sich 1993 auch den Titel beim World Masters. Er gewann vor zwei Jahren eines der European Tour Events, das von Sindelfingen. Und zudem hat er vielleicht den schönsten Spitznamen auf der gesamten Tour. The Bronze Adonis. Herzlich willkommen, Steve Beaton! So here we are into the second half of the afternoon session on day two in Dusseldorf. And after that uh, shock for uh, the number 16 seed Benito van der Pass in the last match against Johnny Haynes. Haynes winning 6-3. We have the meeting of two former Lakeside World Champions, Mark Webster and this man, Steve Beaton. 20 years ago next year since Beaton was world champion. And Webster more recently. But here he is into the second round after his uh, victory yesterday in the first round he was uh, one of the uh, early starters yesterday beat Stuart Kelly 6-2 it was no problem this will be a, a tougher proposition for him against the number 15 seed Rod Harrington with me for this one how do you see this one going Rod? well I think Steve Beaton will be the favorite uh, we know what Mark Webbs can do and, and I think like a couple of games we have seen this afternoon, as in Mark Walsh being one. Mark Webster's going to have to up his game a little bit if he's to beat Steve Beaton. Steve Beaton is he's very solid, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, but Webster, if he can get out the gate like he did yesterday, 13-15 was his first two legs to take a 2-0 lead, then all of a sudden you're putting your opponent on the back foot. That's what Webster's got to do Thank here. Thank that gentlemen. First leg, Martin throw first. Player, if, game as as, if they get in front, they get very confident, they're easy leaders. But chasing is another matter. But the first dart from Webster's in the perfect position, and so is the second. 125. I do believe he kicked off with a 180's first three darts yesterday. Yeah. Absolutely right. 140. I mean, we saw the similarities with uh, Johnny Haynes' performance with his first round match and his second round match. He had a very early break or broke in the first game. Went 2-0 up. 140. Against uh, his first round opponent and against uh, Benito van der Pass. So, so the man he put to the sword in round one yesterday. But he loves those 106-96 checkouts. And Webster here already in the groove with another 140. Well, at the moment, the throw of Mark Webster is... 100. Is Mark Webster 96. Keeping his body nice and still. It's the arm that's doing all the action. The problem with Mark is, is as he brings it back in, well, he's just a double nine now for a 12 dart open Game leg. On the first the 12 dart open Mark leg Webster. it is. Second leg is Steve his body's Brunberg. dead still. Let all the action come from the wrist to the elbow and a little bit of the shoulder, but not too much shoulder, it's all wrist and elbow. And when he does that, when he keeps his rhythm, as we see it there, there we have it, look, the head dead still. And once, if he keeps it like that, then the rhythm is good. It's when he One starts hundred. to move forward a little bit, and then his shoulder overtakes into the shot, and that's when he starts pulling them low, and that's when he loses his rhythm a little bit. 60. Well, it's fair to say Beaton hasn't really got going uh, so far today. Hasn't 100. had too much joy on the European Tour this year. Hasn't gone beyond the third round in any of the five events he's played so far in 2015. 85. Reached the third round in both Venray and at Riesa last time out. Came up against Michael Smith in the last 16 in Riesa. Lost that one 6-3. Was battered by Kyle Anderson 6-1 in Venray. 131. Unfortunate perhaps to come up against Gary Anderson so early as well in Hildesheim. He reached the third round there as well. Lost that one 6 2. 140. That's more like it though from Beaton. But uh, Webster's on a finish here, the biggest of the lot. He's still on that finish as well. Let's see if he can 
finish it off well he's two thirds of the way there can he do it for a 2-0 lead 145 Ooh, would have been 2-12 well, no, Steve Beaton's got to take the set needs to find the treble 20 he's got to move to the last to open up the treble 20 has failed to do so so Mark Webster's going to come back with two darts and a double now although we're in the very infancy of this game it's such a crucial point for the game for Mark Webster got to take out the double 12 13. If he goes on to lose this game, he will look 61. at leg two and go, do you know what, I should be 2-0 yeah. yeah, he'll see it as a turning point. Tops he needs then for uh, one all score line. And he's underneath. Doesn't want to be chasing down to double three. That's a long way off. That's closer. Game and closer still. See, the thing about Mark Webster is if you miss that, Steve Bite beat and holds on to his throw and makes it one all, then that's what can ruin your rhythm a little bit because you start thinking about I've missed loads of darts and a double, and all of a sudden you overthink what's happening. But that's not going to happen with Mark Webster now. He's just going to keep his head still, keep the top half of his body pretty rigid, just let that arm do the work. 58. Sixty. Well, Webster already is enjoying his best run of the year in Europe. He qualified for Gibraltar as well. He lost to uh, Christo Reyes in the first round, six-two. He's looking good here already for a, a place in the last 16. Another 180 perhaps on the way here. 180. And there it is. He went off flying out of the gate, first two legs, but then lost his form. It's a warm day to be dressed up as a zebra, by the way. That's another 65. one I've seen. Well, I think our co-commentator Dan's got it right. Shorts and a thin shirt. I like to maintain a degree of 140. decorum, though. Well, 160. I don't care. I'm going to be down in my shorts tonight. If 140. Not a pretty sight nowadays, but. <laughs> well, beaten in a good position here to get off the mark. 99. Steve Urquhart, 20. Webster, though, waiting in the wings. Should beaten slip up here. Well, he's got one more dart at double five, 15. and he's halved it as well, so Archie this is awkward for beating. Webster capable of taking this out. Oh, more than capable now. Double 12 for a 4 0 lead, double six. Well, nicely done, ball, and beaten Mark just Webster. has no answers whatsoever to Mark Webster Finlay's at the moment. There's nothing he can first. do. Could so easily have got off the mark there, and he's been punished to devastating effect. And well, beaten already, looks a beaten man. Yes, he's uh, two breaks to throw up, he's Mark Webster. It's actually equivalent to three because he threw first in the match, so Steve Beaton is going to break him three times. 99. Can't afford to miss opportunities like that. 140. Three missed doubles for Beaton in that fourth leg. And the average is uh, illustrating Webster's authority as well. Especially on the first line. He's getting out of the blocks quicker. He's getting himself into position quicker as well. Yes, what he's doing is put the pressure on from the first three downs. Well, that's enhanced his uh, first nine average for beat. 
Yeah, it's tidy from Mark Webster. 96. When you take the 18, I mean, his, his 12th dart was at the double on that 18 dart leg. 55. Yeah, almost had that 170 check out as well, didn't he? Doing that leg two. Eighty-three. Stevie Aguilar, one hundred and twenty-six. Well, it's not over yet. This leg could be now. One hundred and one. Mark Aguilar, one hundred and forty. Sixty. Well, those Stevie three missed doubles were beaten in the last leg will give Webster encouragement here. He's got two darts at a double, only one now. He's looking edgy. Nine score. Mark He's looking Aguilar, nervous, 80. isn't he, as well, beaten? Never really convinced me that. Well, the problem is when you're 4-0 down and you know your opponent's on a shot. That's when the pressure really sets in. He just moves to the left. Plenty of room to the left of that dart to pin this double top. 60. Stevie Aguilar, 16. Game well, shot finally takes out Steve the double Peterson. eight to put his first leg on the board. Six leg is Steve to throw first. Game on. That was one of the breaks to throw back. As I said, he's going to take Webster two more times if he's going to win this game. 100. To do with the spirit of Mensor Sulovic at this stage, couldn't he, Beaton? Well, Steve Beaton, that's it. That's he has got that mindset. He will never give up his Webster picks off on another one eighty. Yes, you'll never see, see Steve Pete. He's, he's a good good season professional. Sixty. Just gets up there, plays his own game, never gives up. Gives it his all every time. Oh now then five perfect darts here for Mark Webster. Make that six. Could we be on course for the first? Nine data of the European campaign of 2015. Mark Webster 100. is two-thirds of the way there. What has the Welshman got? Can he get the crowd on their feet once again? No, he can't. The ironic boos go round. 85. Well, he's done the right thing, though. He's pinned the treble. Yeah. And he gets a good round of applause as well for his efforts. Rodriguez went close yesterday. 83. Oh, Webster there, Mark six Aguilar, perfect 56. darts, no nine dart finish, but it could be an 11 dart leg here for Mark Webster. Maybe 12. Game 12 it is. He Webster. breaks back straight away. Seven leg is Mark to throw first. Well, he's stepping up to throw for the match, and we have to say, Rob, this is as good a performance as we've seen out of Mark Webster for quite a while. Game on. And for me, his action has been the best I've seen it for a few years. Yeah. You know, the arm is doing all the work. The head is not moving forward. The body, just a Whoa. tad, but nothing to worry about. Good, strong left arm. And Webster, well, he wouldn't be human Nine right six. now if he wasn't counting his chickens. He'll play. Should he finish it off here, either James Wade, his lookalike, or... Dirk van Dijvenbode in round three tomorrow. They meet later on. Well, there's no stopping him, is there? One eight is in the last two legs. James Wade will be watching this, and he'll be given plenty of food for thought. He's got work to do himself, Wade. First of all, before he can start thinking about facing Webster. Well, Mark Webster, when he played in the Premier League, one hundred only had one win and that was against Adrian Lewis I think it was in Brighton and he had a, just on 110 average but the rest of the time you know, he, soon after, he, got, he got battered and when he was on a down of course you're, every week you're playing a top player but he could finish it off here and now double 14 double Game 14 shot. it is that's and as good as I've seen Mark Webster for Webster. quite a while absolutely Ruthless performance from Mark Webster. Where do you start with that one? A 12 dart leg to start things off. He almost checked out at 170 in the second leg. He almost had a nine dart finish as well. Mark Webster, a very, very eye catching winner today against the number 15 seed, Steve Beeson. An average of 101.56. Not too shabby on the checkouts either.
Four 180s in there to boot as well. And he will be a very dangerous opponent for potentially James Wade, the number two seed in the third round. The Welshman through in double quick time, winning 6-1 against Steve Beaton. A terrific performance and the Welsh people in the crowd will be absolutely delighted with that. I will hear from Webster very shortly indeed, just to let you know that up next on stage we have the man who pulled off a whitewash yesterday, Wes Newton beating Gerwin Price 6-0, his reward is a meeting with Mervyn King. Here is Mark Webster. was a really good match today. Yeah, yeah, I, I practiced doubles in the build-up. You've got to practice the things that ain't going right, and that's what I did. And um, I knew I had to play well. Steve's a solid player, and, but I'm happy. I'm over the moon with that, and on we go to tomorrow. My feeling is you're so hungry to, to have success again, you know? That's... Yeah, I've been like that for eight. I never lost the hunger. I just lost a bit of confidence, that's all. But hopefully I can keep the form. And I mean, I, I think I've played in Germany. I've done those how many times. It's about time I won some games here, do you know what I mean? So, no, the crowd were great. It was a good game, and I'm pleased. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Mark Webster, er steht im Achtelfinale. Könnte es dort mit James Wade zu tun bekommen? Er sagt, das war ein gutes Match. Und, uh...